hi and welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful sleeve design that you can see here it is actually something that is different from your normal you know boring straight sleeves okay so this gives you know a different look to your outfit okay so if you're new to this channel welcome please click the subscribe button click the bell so you get updates when i post new videos and you know let's dive into our tutorial so guys here is my short sleeve pattern if you don't know how to draft a sleeve pattern i'll leave a link in my description box okay so go ahead and watch that a long sleeve pattern can be converted into a short sleeve pattern okay the first thing i'm going to do is to mark the midline of my sleeve this is if you are looking for something that is very very symmetrical okay you can go on to draw a straight line like this then i'm going to come right here just mark about five inches or four and a half inches so let's go with four and a half inches from the midline so i just mark four and a half inches then i'll come right here at the bottom i'm going to be marking two and a half inches on both sides of the midline now these marks that i'm making they are not standard okay i'm just marking it as reference so nobody gets confused here okay so after marking those points i'm going to go on to join them in a diagonal form can you see how i place my ruler like this okay so i join it like this and then i join this part as well just like this you can see that we have like a you know an x marked here the next thing i'm going to do is to go on to cut open one of these diagonal lines just like this so i'm going to cut it all the way to the end okay you need to do that all the way to the end so that you can easily spread the paper that you have cut so now that i've done this i'm going to come right here and cut this part as well i cut from here all the way to the end okay so after cutting we're going to have something like this now this is not We've not even gotten anywhere with this okay remember that we have this um, part that we did not cut right so we're going to replicate this now one thing you can do is to go ahead and cut this out duplicate it and then you know when you duplicate it this one that you cut out will be joined you know back together so i think it will be much easier to cut this part out than to just you know use a tracing wheel so i'll just go on to cut it out like this so please watch what i'm doing so now that i've cut it out i will want to duplicate this so that we have two pieces okay and remember that this is the part that is joined to this part here that i cut out do you understand so can you see can you see that so we need to remember that so after duplicating guys this is what i have so i duplicated it like this so i need to mark this arrow here because i know that this arrow is pointing to this side so what i'm going to do is to take this one i'll place it like this okay then i'll take this one that is cut out i'm going to place it like this okay so i'm going to tape them down together so guys after taping this part down this is what i have now how are we going to create the pleated part i will cut another piece of paper okay so i'm using this yellow paper that we can see here i'm going to place it directly under you know this um cut that we have so what you're going to do is to make sure that you spread this cut that you have made as wide as you can or as narrow as you can it depends on how you want it to okay so i'm just going to spread it you know as wide as i can okay if you want to make it really wide that's up to you if you want to make it you know a little bit straight like an m okay that's up to you so i'll just leave mine a little wider and then just place my scissors on top like this okay so what i'm going to do now is to tape everything down to this yellow paper very very important so now that i've taped everything down i'll just go on to trim the excess that i have you know right at this part because we don't need that much excess okay so i'll just go ahead and trim this part off just like this this is what i have guys after trimming 
and then what i'm not going to do is to match it as if it was not cut out okay so first of all i'm going to bend this part can you see what i'm doing where the white paper ends is where i'm bending it okay so i bent it like that and then i'm going to match it to the part that we cut it out from just like this so please just watch what i'm doing So can you see what I did there? And then I press my paper down. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing here again. Bend around where the white paper is. Where the white paper ends, sorry. I just bend it to create that fold. And then after I do that, I'm going to match it, the edge of that fold, to where i have this um line here okay so can you see what i'm doing now so i'm just going to bend it like that just like this press it down and then what i'm going to do is to go on to trim this excess off because we don't need that okay so i'll just follow the edge of my sleeve trim it off just like this so and by the time you trim it up, you're going to have something looking like this. By the time you open it up, we're going to have something like this. Now, the reason why I have this excess here is because the M was really wide. You know, this part was really wide. So this part sort of like folded. Can you see? It folded into the paper. So what I just did was to, you know, just cut off that excess part. It will look like this. So by the time you fold it, can you see? Let's fold it like that. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, kindly give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Turn on the bell so you get updates when I post new videos. And I'll be seeing you in my next tutorial. Bye.